I don't know what the deal is, what the deal is with this blurriness on on the screen when uh, uh, Facebook come on play nice all right I'm gonna go ahead and roll forward with with the uh, with viewing of it even though it's a slight blur that I'm getting on my feed again you here with me apologize for it I want to move again gonna move forward with it you here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time of what happens on Confessions from the Quarantine. You send to me your daily problems about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issues may be. Please consider, consider sending them to me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. As I mentioned earlier, we're having some feed issues. So if you're looking at your screen and it looks like it's had some sort of slight blur on your screen, just kind of, I guess, blurring this, uh, you're, not, uh, you're not alone um, on, the, on the feed, on the viewing of the feed. So, Again, you're here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine. So, if by chance, if you're having some blurriness in the view, the playback of your screen, let me know if you're receiving it also, because I'm looking at the live feed here, and it looks like it has a slight blur. Maybe it's my old eyes, ah, but it looks like it's a slight blur, and I'm looking at the, the playback from what you see, and it looks like there's a slight blur on that as well. Just kind of some haziness on the screen. So if by chance you've experienced that on your end, please type that comment in the chat line so I'll know that if it's, if it's just me or what. So you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. What happens is you send to me your daily problems about life, about love, relationships, whatever your issues may be, please consider sending them to me, Father Al, with confessions from the quarantine what i'll do is i'll take all your information jot it all down and then reply back the following week with a common sense solution today is saturday may 28th the year is absolutely flying by may 28th season number two episode number 103 you can call me text me email me the telephone number you can reach me 24 hours a day the telephone number is 623-764-8893, 623-764-8893, one more time, 623-764-8893, you can also send an email to me, the email address is confess the sins, again, confess the sins, at symbol gmail.com on the subject line go ahead and write dear father al and the body of the message give me about 500 words or less and then what i'll do is i'll take all your information jot it all down and then reply back the following week with a common sense solution again today is saturday may 28th season number two episode number 103 our facebook and twitter handle is confess the sins again confess the Sins is our Facebook and Twitter handle. Our Instagram handle is official confess the sins. Again, con official confess the sins is our Instagram handle. So, so far live on the chat line, I've got Timothy. And Timothy says hello from the Caribou Moving Pictures Ranch located in Central Arizona. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you as well, Timothy and all those who are in the caribou moving pictures ranch area all right so uh again contact me 24 hours a day click the like click the share click the thumbs up tell as many people about the broadcast as possible and if by chance if you're watching the rebroadcast on youtube click the subscribe button again click the like click the share click the thumbs up tell as many people about the broadcast as possible and if by chance you'd be watching the rebroadcast on YouTube click the subscribe button so let's go ahead and roll forward with the first one that I received last week all right so all right so last week 
Um, I received the letter. It says, Dear Father Al, I, adop I adopted a black baby girl 11 years ago. I chose her and love her. Good. I am a white woman with light brown hair. <coughs> we two are a happy family. She will be 12 in six months. She came home from school crying. Let me make sure I get on. Okay, so she came home from school crying and said that she was ugly. She hates her hair, thinks it's also too short, and wants to change it. She wants to put blonde highlights in her hair and get extensions. Help me. Signed, black and white. All right, black and white, I will reply back in a sec. So if by chance, if you have a child or a daughter or son that comes home and they're crying, they don't like you know how they look, they want to change their hair, whatever, uh, interject your comments in the chat line and let us know how you handle the situation. I received an email, uh, actually a message on last week's show when I was reading the teaser from Terry Keeley, and I will read Terry's comments in a few. So again, interject your comments in the chat line, and I will read those off as well. So you're here with me, Father Al with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service, and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you've been watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. So I'm going to go ahead and read off what Terry indicated in the chat line last week, and then I'll go ahead and read off mine as well. So again, if by chance, if you have some children, your, your kids, grandkids, whatever, come over to your house or just some, you know, let's say you're a teacher, for example, and your student approach you, they don't like how, how they look, blah, blah, blah. Interject your comments, let us know how you dealt with the situation. All right. All right, so this is what Terry commented last week in the chat line. She says, no matter what hair type a child has, it can be fun to experiment with hairstyles, especially when in the preteen tween stages. Peers can have a lot to do with image. Ask your daughter if this has something to do with why she feels this way. Let her know that she's beautiful just the way she is, but if she would like to experiment with colors and extensions, take her to a beautician who specifically works with hair types like your daughter. Let her shine and feel good about herself. Let her know that no matter what someone else thinks about her hair, it doesn't matter. Help her feel good about herself at every stage of her life. Be her support and continue to love her and help her build a positive image for herself. Again, that came from Terry Keeley. She interjected out that comment in the chat line last week. So again, if you've dealt with something along that line, please interject your comments in the chat line, and I will read those off as well. You're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope, a friend, family, loved ones, someone that will give it to you straight, and I'm going to give it to you straight, please consider contacting me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, and I will help you move forward in life. So, this is what I, I, my comments, I've got for black and white. All right, so this is what I've got for um, black and white. Dear black and white, my advice would be to sit with the daughter and inquire why she feels this way. Was it a peer at school, a family member, teacher or something she has seen on TV or read somewhere. Explain to her that she is beautiful just as she is. If you color your hair, if you, as the mother, uh, black and white, uh, color your hair, 
consider committing to let your hair grow out um, to its natural color. If you, mother, wear makeup, consider going out without makeup for an extended period of time. It's a lot easier for you as a parent to say to your kids, well, you know, just be, just be who you are, you know, all that stuff, and you're changing your hair color, you've got extensions, this kind of stuff. That's a lot easier said than done. It's kind of hypocritical. So what I would recommend is, again, if you, as a mother, dye your hair, let it grow out to its natural color. If you wear makeup, don't wear makeup. Hey, lead by example. So that's the angle that I'm going for uh, black and white. Explain to her that this will not be the first no, gonna take the hard line. Uh, this is explain to her that this will not be the first time nor the last time um, someone will not like you for who you are. You have to be confident within yourself that you are beautiful outside and inside, and those who are saying bad things about you are not fortunate enough to recognize your beauty, and it's their loss, not yours. If they can't like you for who you are, as you are, then they're not your friends. Let her know that as long as she is under your roof and your care as a parent, she will not pay for her hair coloring nor extensions. Once the daughter is old enough to pay for it on her own, hey, that's on her. But until then, she will not be able to do it. Okay? So, um, Lastly, uh, you know, like I said, until then, work with what you got. Hey, you got short hair, deal with your short hair, but you're not coloring it. You're not putting any highlights, no braids. Deal with what you got. Hey, so that's me, Father Al, giving to you straight the hard line, some say. So you're here with me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, if by chance, if you need somebody outside of your basic scope of friends, family, loved ones, someone that will give it to you straight. And I gave it to uh, black and white straight in dealing with her uh, young tween black daughter. So click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. So you're here with me, Father Al, and I'm very grateful to have those that watch it, watch the show, whether it's live, the rebroadcast, I'm always grateful to have anyone watching the show. Love you, love you, love you. So, <coughs> excuse me, so, so far live, I've got Timothy. Love you, Timothy. Smooches, smooches, smooches. So, I'm going to go ahead and roll forward. So, I wanted to do a quick shout out. Actually, as you see, I've got a uh, new cigar, Cigarillo, actually. That's a little smaller version of the cigar. And uh, it was donated. Actually, a pack was donated to me of Swisher Sweets. Uh, so thank you, anonymous donor, for donating the pack of Swisher Sweets to me, Father Al. So I'll just hold on to this one for a while until it breaks up and then move forward with the next one. So if by chance you want to donate some cigars, cigar accessories to me, Contact me, call me, text me, say, hey, Father, especially cigars. Call me, text me, let me know. Hey, Father Al, I want to donate, you know, some cigars. Cigarettes, likely not, but, you know, cigarillos, uh, cigars, feel free to send those to me. Just a personal choice. So click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up. Tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, Click the subscribe button. So again, if you want to donate some cigars, cigarillos to me, Father Al, for helping you out, even in some small way, please call me, text me, let me know you've got something in the mail. That way, I won't think of something crazy. Hey, I wasn't expecting a package, you know. It's, so, not going not gonna to go there. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, um, yeah, call me, text me, let me know that you're going to be sending a package. So that way. When uh, the front counter says here at my condo, lets me know that there's a package. At least I'll know that there is a package that I'm expecting that's in the mail for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, anonymous donor, 
for donating the Seguidillos, uh, the Swisher Sweets to me. I really appreciate it. All right. Very nice. So click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance, if you're watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. After this live broadcast, you're going to see on my personal Facebook wall, Al Jones was live here in Phoenix, Arizona. So if you want to watch the show again and again, you can do so. Later on tonight, I'm going to create a rebroadcast that is going to be available on YouTube. So if you got some friends, family, loved ones that do not have a Facebook account, but they like watching it on YouTube, you can go ahead and send them the link to the YouTube viewing of the show, the rebroadcast, and they can watch it that way. Tomorrow morning, I'm going to create a rebroadcast that is also available on Instagram. So you can watch it on uh, Instagram as of Sunday morning. may do it later on tonight, maybe, but more than likely, I will do it tomorrow morning. So click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. In the description, you're going to see a few links. The first link that you're going to see in the description is the friend of the father partner link. And when you click that link, what that will do is that will take you to a PayPal page. And on the PayPal page, you're going to see a few drop down options. The first drop down option, you will see it will um, say, make sure everything's good. So it, it will say, um, friends of the father partner program is the first one we'll have and the friends of father partner program that's a program that we created to help keep the program alive and when you donate for example ninety dollars ninety dollars what that will do is that will help pay for the phone line for an entire year we'll also use a program if i need to put my you know, tire and the dry cleaners it will kind of help pay for expenses like that uh, the any other services that we need dry cleaning washing you know of the shirt you know for example dry cleaning the shirt largely like dry cleaning of, of the suit coat and uh, shirt stuff like that so that's what we'll use the funds for the friend of the father partner program for the second set of drop down information you'll see in that drop down list is the living legacy program the living legacy program that is where we'll take mobile devices laptop notebooks and samsung galaxy notes we'll take those and we refurbish those and then bring them back to factory reset and then we donate them to senior citizens 65 and older so if you've got a senior citizen 65 and older if you know a senior 65 and older that needs a mobile device hey we'll take that and we will donate that to them so you know senior 65 and older if you are a senior 65 and older hey uh what we'll do is we will help you out call me text me send me an email say hey father al i'm a senior or i know a senior and we got a bunch of stuff in the back so the other thing that you'll notice in that set of drop down options you will see a reference to open and private open that's where we'll tell any and everybody who donated how much they donated private that is where we'll keep who donated confidential. So that is the difference between the two. The next set of links that you'll see, the next link that you'll see in the description is the themed merchandise link. And when you click that link, what that will do is that will take you to a cafepress.com page. And the cafepress.com page, that URL is www.cafe press.com slash the one that's leading to the right confess the sins again www.cafepress.com slash confess the sins and when you go there you're going to see all kind of cool themed merchandise you're going to see some merchandise that says uh friends of the father partner program you'll see some merchandise that has the eye and the devil heart and each of the seven deadly sins i love greed i love lust i love wrath all kind of cool stuff so click that link and it'll take you to the cafepress.com page and when you purchase merchandise from the cafepress.com page that will also help us keep the program alive so that is what you'll see in the description the third link that you're going to see in the description is the Father Al wish list. If you've been around a while, you'll see that I'll display cigars, cigarillos on the show. I'm not going to do cigars, but cigars, cigarillos. I will uh, use these in the show. I'll 
reference who I got them from and kind of showcase them. So if by chance, if you want to uh, send some cigars to me, contact me direct. Otherwise, if you click that link in uh, the description, it'll take you to an Amazon.com page. You're going to see all kind of fun stuff there. You're going to see some cigar accessories, golf accessories. So if I've helped you out, even in some small way, and you want to send some love to me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine for helping you out, again, even in some small way, click that link. It will take you to an Amazon.com page, and you'll see all kind of great stuff. Click something, ship it over to me, and I will be more than grateful. So that is what you're going to see in the description. So, so far live, I've got Timothy and I've got Terry. Hey, Terry, love you, love you, love you, smooches, smooches, smooches. So you're here with me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If by chance if you need somebody outside of your basic scope, a friend, family, loved one, someone that will give it to you straight, hey, contact me, Father Al, with Confession from the Quarantine, and I will provide a common sense solution to your daily problems. For your daily problems. All right, so let's go ahead and roll forward with the next one. All right, so next one looks like another follow-up letter. So regardless of what has happened in your life, if I've helped you out again even in some small way, and you want to send some follow-up letters saying, hey, Father Al, this is what has happened to me since you provided some common sense advice, call me, text me, send an email to me, and then I will read off your comments in the chat line. Actually, I'll read them if you enter it into the chat line or if you sent them in an email, text, regardless, I will uh, I'll read them off. So this is what I've got. All right, the letter says, Dear Father Al, recently I wrote to you about a troubled student at a school I was familiar with. The student has transferred to a different school. I thought I had a duty to report what I knew, so I informed the new school about the student. Signed, Trouble. All right, Trouble, and thank you for following up and letting me know that you forward the information as far as your duty to report. I don't know the legality of the duty to report, but offhand, it seems like a good idea for you to do so, especially considering what you had made mention that the student was uh, discussing and the student's troubles. So again, you're here with me, Father Al, with confession from the quarantine. If by chance either of you have uh, had some issues with some troubled students in your life and they transferred, did you let the new school know whether it's your kid or not? And if you knew about it, did you contact the new school that the student was going to to let the new school know of the issues that the student was having. If so, interject your comments in the chat line and I will read those off as well. So don't worry about us going over the, the time, the 2.30 time frame. I know it's about 2.30 here in Arizona. So we're gonna go a little over. I've got one more that I'm gonna read off and we're gonna call it a wrap. So here with me, Father Al with Confession from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from two o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, so far, I've got Timothy and I've got Terry. Love you too, love you too, love you too. Smooches, smooches, smooches. So, the very last one that I've got. Before I do, click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up. Tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you'd be watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. All right. All right, so we've got Dear Father Al, is the last one that I've got. We're going to call it a wrap. Dear Father Al, we are all devastated by the murderers of teachers and the school children this week. My nine-year-old son is traumatized and does not want to go to school. We let him stay home Thursday and Friday. Please give us some help and what to do. Worried mother of scared son. All right, worried, worried mother of scared son. I will reply back to you next week. So if by chance, if, if you have some family members, whether it's your child, cousins, or anybody that you're dealing with, whether they're worried about going to school, 
if they're going back to school, you know, they're going to the you know, physical school, you know, the actual building itself, scared of going to work, you know, going to the mall, or going outdoors in general. If you had some issues with that, please interject your comments in the chat line and let us know how you're dealing with issues like that. And I will read those off. If you want to interject them now in the next couple of seconds or so, I'll read those off. Otherwise, I will read those off next week on uh, next week's show, episode number 104. So you're here with me, Father, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine, a social service and an advice column broadcast every Saturday from 2 o'clock p.m. to 2.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I love each and every one of you, whether you're watching it live, you're watching it rebroadcast. I love you. Smooches, smooches, smooches. Click the like, click the share, click the thumbs up, tell as many people about the broadcast as possible. And if by chance you'd be watching the rebroadcast on YouTube, click the subscribe button. If you need somebody outside of your basic scope, a friend, family, loved one, someone that will give it to you straight, I'm hopeful that you can contact me, Father Al, with Confessions from the Quarantine to provide a common sense solution to your daily problems. Love each and every one of you. Smooches, smooches, smooches. And until next week, I wish you a safe and happy Memorial Day. Go in peace.